Hey, what is up, Nintendo crew? It's the Nintendo Fan Forever here. Welcome back to another video. So today, I'm going to be doing a top five video on my top five anime. Now, originally, this was going to be, you know, something like top five PlayStation games, but I thought um, I'd do an anime one this time. And uh, originally, this was also going to be shout out Sunday, but um, I thought since we haven't done a top five video in a while, I thought let's do this. So it's my own personal opinion. If you don't like it, then you know you're entitled to your own opinion. But this is just my opinion, so yeah, let's get into a review, shall we? Starting off the top five is an anime that I have only seen once, and something I have only just seen fairly recently. Now, this anime is called Sankaria. Now, I have made an anime review, so if you want to go see it, boom. If you want to go see it, it'll be right there. Um, as an annotation, or if you're on the mobile, it'll be in the description below if I can remember it. So yeah. Um, now, the reason why this is one of my top five animes is because I thought it was an absolute brilliant anime. Um, it was funny, yet it was kind of not real feels there, but it was still somewhat sad at the same time. Um, if you want to go see or hear what I'm talking about, again, anime review, um, but since I've already reviewed it before, then I'm just going to go ahead and go straight to the top, my fourth favourite. Um, and if you want to go see my actual review on it, again, link's in the description below. And number four is an anime that I'm actually watching right now. Um, I've seen it before multiple times, but this one I'm actually onto the English sub version. Because uh, normally I'm on the dub version, but um, this is the first time I've ever watched the sub version because they stopped dubbing it at episode 28 or something, which I find very annoying. So if you want to go finish that, that'd be brilliant. Anyway, so. At number four, it's an anime called Mew Mew Power. Now, I'm into, you know, sorts of anime where it's like Sailor Moon, you know, like, um, superheroes transforming, fighting bad guys. I like them types of animes a lot. Again, I do like Sailor Moon. That's not on the top five list. Uh, because Sailor Moon is kind of overrated, in my opinion, but I still do love it a lot. Um, it's a good anime. It brings in a lot of unique characters, each with their own different abilities. Um, ones like a bird, monkey, uh, fish, it's all really good um, and they've all got their own special techniques and whatnot. Um, I would say my personal favourite character is probably Bridget which is actually the uh, fish one but um, yeah I might make an anime review of that in the future but honestly I think it's a good anime um, I'm into you know again superhero ones like that so honestly when I watch this for the first time I thought it was brilliant at number three on the list is an anime that I've only just finished watching for the second time in the English dub version because last time I watched it, I actually watched it in the English sub version. But um, I decided to give a dub version a go uh, because I haven't seen you know the dub version before. Now this anime is called Day Alive. Now I actually know someone on Facebook as well that also does like Day Alive. Um, so Lucas, if you're watching this, saying shout out to you. But um. Yeah, I watched it last week in the English dub version. Now, the reason why I did that is because I wanted to see how it compared to, you know, the sub version. And honestly, I actually prefer the dub version, which is weird. For some voices, I feel like they don't match. But for some, like, voices, I feel like they do match. Um, basically, what it's about is um, a guy that needs to kind of... I wouldn't say tame, per se, but kind of needs to control these things called spirit and the only way to do that is go on a date with him and that's not easy since he already has a girlfriend named Toka so not easy for him but um, it's a good anime um, it does have some killing in it so if you're not you know, into that wouldn't recommend it but honestly I do like it a lot at number two on the list is Sorino Otoshimono I've seen this anime I don't know how many times like four times maybe it's such a good anime um, if you haven't seen it, I might do an anime review on it in the future. Um, if you do want that, then tell me down in the comments down below, um, and I'll be down for it. So what this one is about is um, <laughs> this is gonna be a bit daft to explain it, but it's about this guy called Tomoke, and basically he's basically a pervert. Yeah. <laughs> um, now I normally aren't into these types of animes, but I thought the concept out for the actual anime itself I thought were quite interesting 
I'm gonna get people googling this now. <laughs> um, but yeah, I thought it was quite interesting, me personally. Um, so I decided to, you know, check it out. And honestly, I really did like it. They've got some, again, unique characters. One or two of them are real idiots, basically. And the other one was kind of abused when she was someone else's master. Um, and it makes you kind of feel sorry for her because she's got such a traumatic, like, past, basically. Um, and again, it does make you feel sorry for her. Um, now, they're always, you know, kind of dealing with problems, but normally at the end of the anime, they do something, you know, where they have to save the world. Um, in season two, they had to um, save Chaos. Um, in season one, I believe they had to save Nymph, if I remember correctly. Um, I ain't seen it in a while, so uh, that's a thing. But um, honestly, I thought it were a really great anime. Again, if you want me to do an anime review on it, um, then feel free to tell me. Because, uh, yeah, I'll be, uh, you know, down for it. Um, so, yeah. And the last off is an anime that I'm sure most of you guys know is my favourite anime. Um, I'm looking at you, David. <laughs> um, is Clannad After Story. Now, this... I just freaking love this anime. I've seen it literally nine times, and my friend, again, David, can vouch for me on this one. <laughs> um, I thought it was an absolute, you know, feelsy, yet funny anime at the same time. Um, it's... I think it was considered to be one of the most saddest animes out there, if I remember correctly. That's what I heard anyway as well. Um, and honestly, if you were to say that to me, I would believe you. It is actually a really sad anime, um, but at some points in the series, it can also be really funny as well. It's got a good storyline, and you've just got a lot of characters in it, you know, that's just really, like, lovable and unique. Um, like, take Tsunahara, for example. He's... He's just daft as hell, really. Um, and then you've got Tomoya Okazaki, that is, you know, a delinquent. Nagisa, who is just, like, the best girl to ever exist. Um, it's just a really, such a good anime. If you haven't seen it, 10 out of 10 would recommend. Um, it's more of a uh, slice of life anime. But yeah, and I remember my friend, uh, Hayley, she got me into the anime, so damn you, Hayley. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> um, why do you do this to me? Anyway. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, finishing it off at number one. Alright guys, so that is going to do it for this anime top five video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you did and you're new to the channel, feel free to hit the subscribe button. And if you've got any animes that you would like to recommend me, um, feel free to leave a comment down below. Um, I've seen quite a few animes, mainly Slice of Life, but I have seen other animes such as Mariah Nikki or Elf and Lead. So, Again, feel free to leave me a suggestion down in the comments if you don't want to. But yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. And stay tuned for the next video. Bye for now. Hey, what's up guys? Nintendo Rav Forever here. I just wanted to say a big thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, then consider sharing it with your friends. And possibly leaving a like. It's very much appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, then feel free to subscribe. It's free and you get to see my content every single day. Other than that... Thanks for watching and stay tuned for tomorrow's video. Bye for now.